most witty. And you know what, guys? Today, I wanted to do a, a very, very important uh, tabletop review of a product of mine that I dearly love. I have looked for this particular product for many years and finally have found it and have uh, spent quite a bit of time using this particular product and I just had to let you all know about it and I had to refer it. <laughs> um, now this will be a three-part series guys and the series is the hats of the trade guys and again this is Wilderness Witty TV again I'm Witty and now I'm gonna let you all know that this particular the name of this particular product um, honestly I can't particularly pronounce it so I'll have to spell it to you all and it's spelled C or excuse me S C A L A now the particular design of this particular product is an Outback style hat so it's kind of got a you know Dundee Indiana kind of flair to it <laughs> Uh, now, some good particulars about this particular product that you're going to want to know before you go out and purchase it. Um, it is a 100%, 100% felted wool. Uh, now, the sizes range from small all the way to extra, extra, extra large. Uh, so, you know, if you got a, if you got one of those kind of ambitions of wanting to get like a, you know, a 10-gallon hat, <laughs> You're probably going to come close to it. Um, now the colors, they, they have several, several, several different colors, but I wanted to give you at least three, uh, you know, just to start out with, you know, just a teaser. <laughs> um, the three that I prefer are black, chocolate, and uh, olive color. Now they have three other colors besides that, uh, so you're going to have to go on Amazon and really take a gander of what you look or what you're looking for but one thing I'm going to caution you all about because uh, again if you do your research uh, these sizes are uh, I guess maybe a, some people may say that they're a little small or they may say they're actually a little big uh, but you know the size I got was actually a medium uh, expecting it to fit like a large so I wanted to go thinking it was gonna run small or large rather <laughs> uh, kind of sort of I don't know <laughs> I know that kind of sounds a little silly but I got a medium thinking it was probably going to be something like a large for lack of a better term uh, and it fits perfectly guys and I mean absolutely perfect um, now I'm going to give you all a gander at this beautiful hat here in just a second but I wanted to get the particulars out of the way um, now it does have a three inch brim three inch brim so if you kind of like that wide brim kind of look uh, you know this hat's gonna be for you guys um, now it is uh, somewhat waterproof uh, actually to be honest with you guys uh, you know I haven't unfortunately I haven't actually gone out in the rain with it but from all accounts that I've seen it is fairly waterproof uh, you can take that as it is but I'm just relaying the information that I've given you um, now I have used this hat many 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 times going out hunting going out back in the woods and you know cooking up a meal for myself or just out there enjoying you know the scenery uh, again hunting I've gone out fishing with it I really enjoyed that uh, it honestly guys in my personal opinion uh, you really want to go out with a hat depending no matter really what weather it is you know hats especially wide brim hats especially in warmer weather uh, kind of causes a microclimate you know it keeps you cooler keeps the sun out of your eyes and honestly guys I've done it uh, the wide brim of this particular hat I could literally take it off of my head and coax the fire with it and it caused the uh, fire to uh, with just the embers I by doing that and waving it into the tinder bundle or into the ashes it causes enough air into that to ignite flame uh, and it's a lot easier and a lot safer than getting up into there and trying to blow oxygen into that thing and get life out of it um, now it is imported this particular wool is imported however unbeknownst 
to anybody and unfortunately uh, without being able to have more uh, information about it I could not find where it was actually imported from uh, but honestly guys uh, the proofs in the pudding this hat is a beautiful hat um, now the price point here is really guys the best thing about this particular hat it was only 27 bucks that's it guys 27 bucks and I absolutely 100% uh, love this hat and would absolutely recommend it and uh, now that we're done with the handy dandy notebook hey let's get on with the, uh, the look <laughs> now this particular hat guys like I said is actually the chocolate uh, color uh, and like I said I absolutely 100% love this hat uh, now keep in mind guys they do all come with feathers uh, I don't believe they all come with the exact same feathers uh, but this one came with this particular variety and I do know from further investigation of this particular hat you can take these out and you also can replace the band here that comes with it however if you really don't know what you're doing I wouldn't start plucking anything off of this product being the fact that you might not be able to fix it in the long run but I absolutely 100% love this hat and would recommend it here's a quick look at the inter the internals there it does have a sweatband guys I've been out in the woods with this thing, and honestly, even though I was sweating like a mad crazy man, nothing hit me in the face, nothing hit my eyes. It all got captured in the hat. Uh, now, this is a crushable hat. You could literally grab this hat, throw it in your pack, in a wad, basically, <laughs> and uh, go about your business, and when you get home, you can take it out and basically give it a good shake and hang it back on the rack. <laughs> for lack of a better term um, now I will let you all know uh, with prolonged use of this hat wearing it all day or what have you you probably if your skin is a bit uh, shall we say sensitive you might get a little bit of an itch now you won't break out you're not gonna you know go crazy and have all kinds of crazy pimples across your forehead or anything like that but like I said you might get a little bit of an itch but yep this is pretty much uh, my tabletop review of this particular product and would absolutely 100% say go get this hat guys if you love this kind of hat now there will be a two-part and a three-part uh, series on this particular series it's three-part <laughs> uh, there'll be two more to come guys which will be uh, my summer or excuse me my winter and my fall hat <laughs> this is pretty much my uh, summer hat guys this is what I wear hunting or what have you uh, when it's a little warmer outside uh, the next one will be basically my um, my fall hat and then the third one will be my winter hat we'll kind of go in sequence on that <laughs> but again guys this is wilderness witty TV I'm witty I want to say thank you very very much for all of my subscribers thank you very much for all of your comments and if you all have any kind of uh, anything that you all would like to see please feel free to drop a line and don't don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button guys God bless